Today I have a fun DIY gardening project for you. We're going to make ourselves our own little terrarium without the succulents. You would need an empty jar. Get hold of a jam jar that you have been collecting forever and wondering what to do. A plastic sheet, some garden soil, some pebbles and finally the stuff you like. For this one, I will ask you to do something little crazy that might sound. But by the time we are done, you will probably end up patting yourself on the back. Go outdoors in your garden and get whatever you can get your hands on. There are just two requirements. First, it should be pretty and secondly, it should be tiny enough to fit in your jar. I got myself some sand, some tiny little plants. A word of caution, please avoid sprouting tree seedlings and grass because it will end up spoiling your mini garden. Let's get started. Start with a layer of pebbles. About a centimeter of layer is enough. Bigger the jar, wider should be this layer of pebbles. Take a plastic sheet and poke some holes in it. I actually learned this trick from a terrarium artist. I'm going to put a link in the description box to his channel. On top of this layer, add sand. This step is key to a good terrarium. The big grains of sand won't cross the pores of plastic, but still allow water to seep into the pebbles. Next, add garden soil layer for nutrition. If you're using small plants, a centimeter and half of this layer is enough. Now that all the layers are set, it's time for the fun part. Decorate it with whatever greens you like. I love to start with some moss as it gives a great green base. Add some twigs or shells or corals or any tiny thing that you have collected. It will just add some character to this tiny landscape. To make it more real, I'm actually adding a mummified dragonfly that I'd collected probably two years back. If you like, you can keep your terrarium much simpler with just little moss and a twig. Terrariums are super simple to make and they look great sitting on your desk. You can water them using a straw. Two to four drops a week for an average medium sized terrarium is enough. If you like such craft gardening videos, let me know in the comments section so that we can do more of them in future. And if you have been watching but haven't subscribed so far, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you next week. Bye bye.